Libra. Welcome to Spiritual Wellness Tarot. I thank you for stopping by. I feel truly blessed that you have chosen Spiritual Wellness Tarot as part of your spiritual journey. We're going to go ahead and pick some cards up here. We're going to start off with some oracle cards, and then we will um, get some charms, roll the dice, and then we'll finish off with the tarot cards. The reading today is all about who and why is this person secretly spying on you, right? Do you ever get that feeling like if you're in the library or the grocery store that somebody is watching you or even at home and it's the dog, right? <laughs> Been there, done that before and people think you're crazy. The dog is watching me. But anywho, if you ever get that feeling, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear that I'm not the only one that has that feeling. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and start off with, whoa, we don't need that many. Oh, and I see that we got two out already. We're going to go ahead and start off with, um, with our Oracle cards. Then we'll pull some charms. We'll roll some dice to see if we can get an initial of this person who is secretly spying on you. And then we'll finish up with the tarot cards. Now, for those of you who are new here, my name is Julie, and I am a psychic medium here on YouTube, and I do use my psychic gifts to go ahead and help encourage those who might be feeling a little bit lost or just want some insight into the future. All right, let's get some charms going here. Let's see what else we have going for you, Libra. All right, let's get a few more. All right, so the first charm is love. All right. Second charm is good night and I love you. All right. This charm is she believed she could, so she did. We've got brave. Then we have blessed. And then we have Aries and Cancer. So it could be an Aries or Cancer that this person is who has been spying on you. That definitely, um, you know, could be Libra. So let's take a look. Let's roll our dice and get an initial going here, and then we'll start this reading off. Hope we can get the dice out here. All right, angels and spirit guides, just give us one dice for Libra. What is the initial of the person secretly watching Libra? All right, that's a liner. We're going to spin again. All right, it's a T. So do you know somebody that that their name starts with a T or um, could be their first name or their last name starts with a T and they've been kind of kind of just hanging around you. That person could probably be this person that we're talking about, could be the one that is spying on you. Now, um, why they're spying on you? Well, let's take a look here. We, our first card here says healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Oh, beautiful, right? I love it. And this reading is for any connection. Could be love, could be business, could be friendship, right? So it's for any connection. Healing could be a family member, right? So we've got this healing card. This person wants to feel better. They want to go ahead and come to you. They want to go ahead and, um, and heal with you if there was an issue going on. Um, reconnect with nature, be grounded, the sacred space. This could be a person that loves to be outdoors, right? We've got the tree, of course, with grounding. We've got, we've got the angel flying above. We've got the trees, the snow. So it might be somebody that, that does like to be in the outdoors, doesn't mind the snow, unlike me. I'm, I'm done with snow. <laughs> but this person could definitely be, um, you know, could start with the initial T and they love the snow. They might like to sing, right? You've got the singing going on there. You've got the, the music, the, um, the butterflies, right? The nature. So it's going to be somebody that, that does like nature and they're just ready to be involved in your life, whether it be friendship, love, or, or business. Our card here is the earthly card. And it is about accepting, right? Knowing that your body is your temple. You need to take care of your body. Now, this has to do with the root chakra, right? Survival and physical focus. So it's going to be, what did I say? It's going to be somebody that likes to be the doing the outdoors and physically focus on the outdoors, right? On how they become earthly. Then we've got this card here that is... Um, you know, forgiving. They like to go ahead and forgive. This is actually the heart chakra, giving and receiving. They want to renew 
their love, right? They want to renew their friendship with you. That's what the healing card is all about. I love it. This goes right along together. I love how the universe gives me these cards to read to you just to give you the clarity and the guidance that you have. We're going to go ahead and pull our tarot cards now. So definitely look, you know, be looking for somebody that's going to come into your life that is that maybe needs some healing, right? Or if it's somebody from your past life and you guys didn't have a great relationship before or ended on, on a sour note, it might be time for you to listen to them, what they have to say, right? What they are working on because we all work on ourselves daily or we should at least. All right, so we have the Seven of Wands, we've got the Page of Wands, we've got the Tower, the Devil, oh my God, and ending up with the Wheel of Fortune, Snap Hooey, right? That is awesome. Look at these major arcanas. All right, so we've got the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is about competition, right? He might feel that he has some competition. And just like I told the others, my I say he and she, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a male or female. It's just the energy. It's just, though, how I talk is he or she. I'm old-fashioned. All right. <clears throat> so it, he feels that he has some competition, right? How is he going to heal those wounds? Well, he's going to have to maybe do some meditating. He's going to have to know that he needs to believe in himself before you're going to believe in them. You've got the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is about that active kid, a new project, maybe a creative idea coming, if this is for a business relationship, right? And the two of you maybe didn't see eye to eye on the last business relationship. Maybe it's time to heal those wounds and move forward into a new business relationship. We've got this tower here, right? The tower is all about a disruption, right? All about new things coming, making room for new things, letting the old tumble down, which is what this person wants to do, and they want to bring back the new, right? They want to come back to, to the new. You've got the, third, the death card, all about rebirth, and that's, I love that these guys are following. Look at this. This is just awesome. This is just awesome. So we have the tower, right? boom dee boom dee boom dee boom the things that are not working for you, that are not serving you. Then you have the rebirth of the death, the little skeleton, right? He is ready to move forward. And bam, you end up with the Wheel of Fortune. Jeez, gravity, what more could you want, Libra, right? So what he is hoping for is good fortune. He's hoping that you will say yes to a new project. He's hoping that you will say, come into my life and we can go on and move forward and we can heal what has happened from the past and to move forward to this beautiful, glorious life together. Again, could be business, could be love. I love this. This is awesome, Libra. This is just awesome. All right, let me know if this resonates with you. If it does, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And until next time, Libra, this is a beautiful reading for you. I'm really excited for you. I love you all. Namaste.